All right, so I, I'm just going to start by saying, um, as we get through playing musical chairs over here. <laughs> um, so good morning. Good morning. And, uh, yes, and thank you for coming. We're excited. Um, I know Freddie and I, we, we've been doing a lot together, and the mayor can, can vouch for this. We're, we're always excited, and this month has been, last two weeks has been crazy for us. We've got seven ribbon cuttings, eight ribbon cuttings under our belt. It's never been this crazy, and it's exciting, and I know Freddie feels the same as I do. Um, we're both membership organizations that are for the, you know, watching the economic growth of the, this community as a whole. Freddie fo focuses on downtown Main Street, which you guys are part of. Mm -hmm. An extension of the of the main street here, and we're we're the entire county, but we, we partner together, and we're just so excited about all the new businesses and the growth that we're starting to finally see. And there's there's a buzz going on, and you guys are part of it, and that's a good thing to be a part of right now. There's a buzz and a lot of growth, and a lot of people are really starting to invest back in the community. We saw the McKinney Brothers right down the road from you guys built that new complex. You guys moving in and opening up and coming down off the mountain and, and wanting to do business here, so that's exciting. And you've already helped me which is even more exciting. We'll talk about that because I consider myself a success story already, um, and which is just exciting how, how people don't realize, but the health health and wellness in this community is really starting to take a big kick. Uh, we got the McDowell Health Coalition that's building and doing a lot of work in, out in the community, and, and to have you guys here also is just another plus, and we're just so excited about that. So to my right, I have Ms. Gail Davis, and she owns and operates uh, Better Life Health and Spa. She has a wonderful staff with her, and I'm going to give you a few minutes just to tell us a quickly a little bit about Better Life Health and Spa, what you guys do, and then I'll give you a chance to introduce your staff with us okay. as well. Thank All you. right? Yes, ma'am. This is great. This is totally unexpected. <laughs> for me, I just love this. This is wonderful. Thank you all so much for coming, too. Well, at Better Life, um, this has come about in a way that has been just truly miraculous. And our goal is to meet people where they are in their health, their physical being, whatever, and we can meet them where they are and help and educate them, maybe make a few suggestions with our different therapies and modalities that we do offer here. And that way they can take power of their own situation and their own health. And that is on every level going to help them be more positive and have a better outlook. And I'm a naturopath. I've studied at Trinity School of Natural Health. I'm certified nationally in biofeedback through the Quantum University. Also lymphatic therapy, electrolymphatic therapy, which helps everyone from cancer patients to healthy people. And I'm also an instructor in that. But besides that, we offer several modalities. We offer nature sunshine herbs and nutrition, and we offer the other modalities that we offer. Let me introduce our staff, because so, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. You're fine. <laughs> You're doing a great job. That's what we need to know, what you guys do. That's, that's awesome. We have ev something for everybody. Whether you know anything at all about health or fitness or wellness, we can help you get to where you need to be and meet your goals for your health and your well-being which we all need something mm -hmm. and everyone has some issue or, or concern that they may have that we can help you with. Uh, Cheryl Saylor is one of our massage therapists and she's uh, coming to us from uh, Rumbling Ball Spa which she's still there and also in Black Mountain. Kathy Stigler is an iridologist and a certified natural health professional and she's coming from, from Black Mountain in Swannanoa area and she is an expert in the uh, Nature Sunshine Earth also. Sherry Young is a massage therapist and I'm sure people in McDowell County recognize Sherry mm -hmm. as being a massage therapist here for a long time. Sarah Waycaster is one of our yoga instructors. We offer four yoga classes right now. Sarah's in charge of three of those classes and Ginger Webb is not here with us this morning and Ginger has started a Tuesday morning restorative yoga here. So we offer something for everybody on all levels and uh, we're just happy to be here and we just want everybody to come out and see us and if you have questions we'll be glad to, to tip, give you more details and more information on the things and therapies that we offer in the different modalities. So that's the biggest thing we want people to understand what you guys offer and we encourage our local citizens 
and ambassadors here that they go out and, and let folks know that they've got health and wellness issues. This is a great opportunity, a great place. And uh, so we're excited about that. Tell us a little bit about your hours. When are you guys open? We have very flexible hours. We're usually here at least from 10 to 5 every day. But a lot of times we are here. Uh, the massage therapists are very flexible on their hours. As I, I've, I've been here at 8 o'clock to see people before. And of course, we are here as late as we need to be. We try to meet people on their schedules. And your yoga know classes there mornings and evenings, and how, how are they? We have, we have Tuesday morning <laughs> at 9.30 for our general restorative. And then in, we offer 5.30 and 6.45 on Monday evenings and 6.45 on Thursday evenings right now. And uh, of course, you know, as we get more demand, I'm sure that will expand <coughs> uh, at some point. So. Very exciting. So I'll tell my little success story real quick. Some of y'all may or may not know I have sleep issues. I become very addicted to Ambien and there are some major side effects with that. And I was sharing with her that, you know, I was a little concerned with some of the side effects with Ambien. And it is a very addictive uh, sleep medicine. But she's putting me on, and you got to tell the name of it. It's Herbal Sleep. Passion Flower. <laughs> it's Herbal Sleep. It has, you know, hops, valerian, and passion flower. Yeah, and I've been on this for a little over a week and have haven't touched the ambient so and there are no side effects it's very natural I feel good I'm sleeping good so again I, I'm, I'm, I'm one that believes in already what they're what they're offering so um, definitely come in and check them out and see what they have to offer and let them take care of you and help teach you how to take care of yourself better yes. through natural remedies and I think that's the key where we're starting to see a lot of shift and focus in today's culture is moving more into the natural medicines and stuff that are our God created mm -hmm. here on, on, the, on the earth that we already have. So there's, uh, we have a couple guests with us. I want them to have an opportunity to welcome you guys. <laughs> or, of course, the most dignitary in the group is uh, Mayor Steve Little. <laughs> Mayor Little. Thank you, Gail and everyone. It's a delight for me to welcome you and to share your excitement and celebrate with you the opening of this location for the good things that you do. I can also give you a commercial uh, because I've been a regular patient client of Sherry Young, I guess, 10, 15 years, something like that. Every first Wednesday, I'm out here, or wherever she is, <laughs> I've been here twice so far at, at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So, flexible hours, That I really appreciate that. But... Sherry keeps me going. But the massage therapy that she gives on my neck in particular, that's where we all have different places where stress seems to, to hide and do its work on us. And for me, it's my neck and upper shoulder area. So Sherry helps me and keeps me going. And I'm grateful for her <laughs> and for, for many years. So. Good health is something that we so much take for granted until we're in a situation where we hurt. And then we'll do almost anything to get relief. So it's wonderful to know that if people can come here while they're still healthy, you can stay healthy or get healthier and get relief if you need it. So welcome. The city of Marion welcomes you. Whatever we can do as a city government to make you feel welcome and know that we're here for you, we want to do it. We look for ways to say yes to people. So, welcome and congratulations, and I'm here pulling for you. Thank you, Mayor. Um, to the left of the mayors, Ms. Judy Pittman and Tammy, they're with the Tax Assessor's Office. Judy, Tammy. Um, on the part of the county, and for myself and Tammy, we want to say we're so glad you came. You people could have chose somewhere else to go, and you didn't. And we want you here. We'll come out, we'll, we'll work with you wherever you need us to do. Uh, like Mayor Steve said here, you know, we will help you in any way we can. And we are so excited to have another business coming. That's what we're looking for and we're striving to bring more businesses in. We want our downtown field again. We want our uh, empty buildings, people in those buildings. So uh, we'll be, I'll speak, we'll be speaking with you in just a little while about what we're going to do to help you. But, you know, we'll leave our business cards with you. Uh, call us at any time. We'll talk you through everything. And we will strongly support you. And so, again, so very thankful you are here. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Thank you. 
and the lovely lady. Uh, I think you you might know her a little bit from what I've heard. <laughs> this Freddie Killer with Marion Business Association. Freddie? It is, I'm so excited for Gail. Gail and I have known each other since grade school. I guess so. Uh, 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 that's in my memories of Gail riding the school bus together. And so to see the uh, success for her is so exciting. And uh, as you could, as uh, Judy said, you could have chosen to go anywhere. We're so glad that you're here. I called Gail a few weeks ago. She was just all bubbly. She was just terribly excited and, and nervous too. And there it is apprehensive to strike out on your own to do a business. But I have utmost confidence that Gail is capable and will make this work. She has a wonderful support with her family and her staff. And so very excited for her. And uh, this is just a wonderful opportunity and you know how to get in touch with us. And we'll be here for you. Thank you, Grace. Andrew Vanderbeek is um, one of our chamber members, ambassador type individuals that represent the chamber very well. She's with uh, uh, McDowell Cornerstone Credit Union. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes. I was just very lucky to stop by the chamber and find out that your ribbon cutting was today. So yes, and it's great having, as, as Steve said, having another business open, a new business, and we'll help you get the word out from the credit union side. and. Our, our um, responsibility as a credit union is financial wellness, so we try and help everyone from a business to the personal folks that are living in the community to, to get educated from a financial side. So it's there just been go. really great, great, great place and a lot of services I can use from the <laughs> services. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Brown is one of our ambassadors. Kim uh, owns me. her own business. She's with KB Connections. Um, she's a virtual assistant. If you don't know anything about that, that means that if you get overloaded on your admin work or things like that or need help with social media and getting your word out there, Kim's a resident expert at that. She does teach a few classes for the chamber, uh, some of our lunch and learns, so keep an eye out on that as we put that out. But uh, Kim? Yes, thank you for that. That was very, very, very nice. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> but um, I just was standing here, I'm just in awe. I'm just happy to be here and happy that you guys are here. And just to ditto what she just said, I'm ready to make an appointment. Just where, where do I sign? <laughs> where do I sign? But some of my clients, I've been lucky to have some of my clients that, that, um, that are involved in holistic medicine. So I've been knowing about it for a little bit over a year. And I've been wanting to go that path, so I'm so happy that you're here, and I'm so happy that I can be a part of it. So uh, welcome, and um, I think big things are just really coming your way. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to cut a ribbon here in just a second, but uh, what I want to do is give you um, mayors. I can always use him as an example. Mayor's one of my <laughs> most trusted that wears the golden scissors every time. Um, but I wanted to give you your very own little golden scissors to commemorate today. And we have a card that goes with it. It's building community through business, which is what you guys are going to be about. Um, and of course, from the McDowell Chamber of Commerce, we're very thankful. Turning opportunity and vision into reality. And that's something you guys are doing here. And that's pretty exciting to see that. So there's your very own golden scissors. Thank you. And congratulations. <laughs> Ready to cut. Okay, you ready to cut? Cut them. All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.